case is you will be in the situation to give checkmate with two rooks or with just one rook. Why is that? Because at the beginning of the game those rooks are behind pawns. It takes quite a while for those rooks to be developed and that's why it is so much easier to swap off other pieces like queens, bishops or the knights. And what Sun is going to do now is demonstrate how to give checkmate when you have king and two rooks versus the opponent's king. So the first question there is, um, would it be possible to get checkmate with two rooks alone without the help of the king? Yes, very easily. Very easily? How do you do that? Well, if we imagine this king isn't here, and it's white to move, we just cut off the king's file, so he has a limited amount of space. Okay, king needs to move somewhere. Now, if I just go here, the king will just chase it off, and then now, as you can see, the king has less space as we cut this fifth rank off. So what Sung is doing here is he's using one of the rooks to cut off the king, and then he's going to use the other rook to, to check. push the king even further back. Okay, now this king is going to move towards your rooks. Now we check it again. And the king can no longer stay on the sixth rank. This rook is chopping off the remaining squares, which means that the king can only go backwards. Yeah, but this rook acts like a fence. He just can't jump over. So mm -hmm. I'll cut. I'll check it. Check. King over here. And checkmate. And checkmate. That's right. So in order to give checkmate with two rooks, you don't really need the help of your king. Two rooks alone are perfectly capable of delivering that checkmate. Just keep your rooks uh, far enough from the king so that the king cannot take either one of them. Use one of the rook to um, make it impossible for the king to cross that barrier, and then you use the other rook to systematically push the, push the king back towards the back rank, and that's where the king gets checkmate. But there will be situations when you don't have two rooks, you only have the king and the rook. What happens there? Is one rook alone enough to get checkmate? Definitely not. No? Okay, well, in that case you will need to use your king to help out. How do you go about delivering the checkmate with the king and the rook versus king? Well, first, like all principles, we just carve the king from having any more space. Okay, the king makes a move. And then we follow the king, so somehow we can have a um, opposition. King goes here. Now we have an opposition. An opposition means when two kings face each other, and okay. there's a space in between. Well, this king still has space to escape, doesn't it? Yeah. Now we just have a waiting move, right here. If we don't have this waiting move and keep on chasing this king around, we'll have a draw. So we have a strategic waiting move. By chasing the king around and repeating the position, we really don't get anywhere. So what Sung is doing here is he made a waiting move. And now he's waiting for my king to go back so that the kings are opposed. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to escape by going to c5. Well, then I'll keep on chasing him. And king b5. And chase him again. And king a5. And chase him again. Well, the king can no longer continue because we have reached the edge of the board. So and now he has to come back. He has to go back. Now we have this opposition. This is a perfect time where we can move our rook up, meaning the king has to go up, which has limited space now. That's right, because this king is cutting off the escaping squares and the rook does not allow the king to stay on the fifth rank. That means that the king has no other choice but to go back. What now? And now, we chase the king again. And the king moves out of the way. Then we have another waiting move. And the entire pattern is going to be repeated again. Yeah. So black is trying to escape. White is following. And there comes the moment when... Where he has to come back. Then. When the king has to start going back. That's right. Which and white rock. uses to push the king even further back. Okay, king f7. King f5. King g7. Waiting move. King goes in the corner. And then we cut him off. In this particular situation, because the king voluntarily went into the corner, there is no need to follow the king. 
the rook can immediately go on b7, and right now, as you can see, there is just one single rank, the eighth rank, that is still available for the black king. King goes back to g8. Now we go to king f6. King goes in the corner. We go king g6. And king cannot continue and has to go back. Now this is a perfect time to move your rook up and checkmate him. Checkmate. Why is this a checkmate? The rook is attacking the king. There are no escaping squares for the king. No way of taking the rook. No way of putting anything in between. This is the checkmate. The end of the game. Yeah. And this is how you get checkmate with two rooks or just with one rook.